Respite with Ragtime. My name is Priscilla Johnson and I am a violinist with the River Raisin Ragtime Review. That first bag, rag was Mornings in Quarantine, which I composed in March. If you're a string player listening this evening, you may recognize a couple of quotes from Kreutzer Etudes and from the Bach Double Violin Concerto. Today's theme is entitled A Garden of Rags. I've been really getting into gardening with so much time at home this spring and summer. I discovered that many rags have flower names and gardening references, so I thought it would be fun to explore some of those this evening. First up is Wildflower Rag by Clarence Williams, written in 1904. Inspired by the father of the blues, W.C. Handy, Williams wrote alone and with some of the most prolific lyricists of his day. His collaborators include Spencer Williams, Andy Rizaf, and Louis Armstrong. He was also a major influence on singer and songwriter Thomas Fats Waller. Here is Wild Flower Rag by Clarence Williams. Another piece written in 1904 was Chrysanthemum Rag by the King of Ragtime, Scott Joplin. Joplin's marriage to his wife Belle was on the rocks at this point, and he dedicated the work to a young woman called Freddie Alexander, who was to become his second wife. Joplin composed many works with flowers and tree names. Please enjoy Chrysanthemum Rag.
chrysanthemum time yet, but we're, we're getting there. This next piece by Scott Joplin really needs no introduction. The Entertainer was composed in 1902 and published by John Stark and Son. Its popularity was revived in 1973 with the release of the Oscar-winning movie, The Sting. to our garden theme now. The next tune I'll play is a slightly later rag written in 1911 called the Red Rose Rag. It was written by Percy Wenrich 
and actually had lyrics written to it by Edward Madden. They are quite adorable lyrics, some of which I would like to read to you. Down in the garden where the red roses grow, oh my, I long to go. Pluck me like a flower, cuddle me an hour, lovey, let me learn that red rose rag. Red leaves are falling in a rosy romance. Bees hum, come, now's your chance. Don't go hunting possums, mingle with the blossoms in that flowery, bowery dance. It's quite charming, I think. Here is Red Rose Rag. and flowers this summer and when I knew that I was going to do this show I knew that I had to play Heliotrope Bouquet by Louis Chauvin and Scott Joplin. Heliotrope is a part of a plant family called Borage and it signifies love and devotion. This second tune on the theme of love has a little different feel than the last one in that it's a little bit sadder. Louis Chauvin composed about half the piece, but because of ongoing ill health, Joplin wrote the last two stanzas. Sadly, Chauvin died at the very young age of 26. Please enjoy this lovely and lyrical rag, Heliotrope Bouquet.
That was the 1917 rag, Rooster Rag, by Muriel Pollock. Pollock was a very successful musician and composer who actually went to the Juilliard School in New York. Back then, it was known as the New York Institute of Musical Arts. I am someday thinking about adding chickens to the farm, to my little backyard farm here, but I don't think I'm going to do any roosters. I think that would be a little bit much for my neighbors. Another category of creature in the garden which are abundant are squirrels. I'm generally happy to have them around, although they can really get into the bird feeders, so that's not so good. Composer Henry Glickman may have uh, felt the same as he collaborated in 1913 with Paul Bees to write Squirrel Rag. Things hold up a little bit here. Scott Joplin's was Ragtime Dance, written in 1902. If you've been to any of the shows where we played this tune, you may remember that toward the end, the whole band stomps while we are playing. It's really a great effect, 
but it's not really possible with the carpeting in here. So you'll just have to imagine some heavy footed dancers twirling around at that point. So please enjoy Right Time Dance. together and I'm just going to be inserting a piece that I just absolutely love to play. There's no correlation to our theme this evening, but I'm always excited when I have the chance to play it. I even love the name. Shimmy Showabble by Spencer Williams was written in 1917, a full 15 years after the Joplin piece, which I just played. Williams also composed such famous tunes as Basin Street Blues and Tishomingo Blues. This is a real toe tapper, so I hope you enjoy.
great one. Well, now that I've gotten that out of my system, I can return to another beautiful classic rag written by Joplin called Paragon Rag. I hope you enjoy this. Ago at our house we hosted a German exchange student and this German exchange student would always talk about his parents winter garden and what that basically is is a small room with windows on three sides where plants can grow all year long. Songwriter Abe Ullman wrote a fun little piece called Winter Garden Rag. Ullman was a great success and wrote rags such as the Red Onion Rag and Oh Johnny O, oh, among many others. He wrote Winter Rag in 1912. <laughs>
the end of a full day of gardening in the sun, I love it so much. It is so great. But I am a little sweaty and a little dusty. May Afterhida, one of the most, if not the most famous, of the female ragtime composers, wrote a great rag in 1908 called Dusty Rag which I'm going to play for you now. has had the chance to travel all over the place, including Ohio and Wisconsin, but we love our gigs in our home state of Michigan. One of the perks of our beautiful state is the abundance of cherries during the summer. Nothing beats them. They are just so delicious. Composer Ted Snyder may have vi visited Michigan as well and felt the same as he wrote Wild Cherries Rag in 1908. His hits include The Sheik of Araby and Who's Sorry Now. In 1970, he was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Here is Wild Cherries Rag.
I'd like to thank you so much for joining me this evening for A Garden of Rags. If you enjoyed these rags and would like to hear the full band versions, many of them have been recorded and are available on our CDs. You can purchase these and get more information about the band by simply going to our website, ragtimeband.org. I'd also like to thank board member and friend of R4, John Remmers, for assisting me this evening with the tech piece of the show. We end uh, so many of our shows with Joplin's Sunflower Slow Drag. I thought I would keep with that tradition and play it for you as my final piece. Thanks again for joining Respite with Ragtime.